What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. We'll continue the conversation on the history of boxing. In these conversations, you will hear about the bare knuckle era and everything else in between its current state. You'll hear about the promoters, the venues, the managers, who wield and deal, sometimes not in favor of their own fighter. You hear about the referees who partake in in either fixed fights or memorable world championship contests. And so much more. One of the things that is often left out in conversation when you talk about boxing in its historic state is what kept these men entertained either in training camps or their destination from bout to bout. And music played an instrumental role in keeping the sanity of these fighters. And in the case of 1910s to 1970s, jazz did that very thing. They had guitarists such as Wes Montgomery, Dave Stewart, pianists such as Earl Hines and Billy Evans, Billy Eckstein, Art Tatum, and the marvelous Alice Coltrane. She was the wife of the tennis saxophone player, John Coltrane. Trombone, you had musicians such as J.J. Johnson, trumpet, Miles Davis, Elvin Jones, Louis Armstrong, and a magnificent Dizzy Gillespie. On tenor and alto saxophone, you had Charlie Parker, Lester Young, John Coltrane, the onlyest monk, Coleman Hawkins, Stan Getz, Sonny Rollins, and Wayne Shorter. You had Dexter Gordon and Benny Carter. Jerry Mellican, who by the way, was famous for the wonderful song, the Satin Dawn. The Lee Cornett and Johnny Hodges, Ornette Coleman and Gene Armands, Candy Duffer, Sam Rivers, Ben Webster, and Louis Jordan. On drums, you had Art Blakely, Gene Cooper, Lionel Hampton, and Max Roach. Tito Fuentes, Elvin Jones, Buddy Rich, Chick Webb. The big bands, we have Artie Shore and Count Basie, Glenn Miller, Tony Dorsey, Benny Goodman, Duke Ellington, Art Blakely and Jazz Messengers. You have wonderful vocalists, such as Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, Dino Reeves, Sarah Vaughn, Anita O'Day, Nina Simone, Cassandra Wilson, Louis Armstrong, Betty Carter, Nat King Cole, Nancy Wilson, Little Jimmy Scott, Cap Calloway, Carmen McRae, Frank Sinatra, and Tony Dorsett. I want to take this time to thank Stormy B Man. Who I had conversations with often during the time of recovery. I was ill for quite some time and Stormy B Man kept in touch. True friend. And I would like to thank those who gave their prayers for me. Never take life for granted. 
And that's why I have this channel. Because boxing has always been a part of my life since the age of seven. My dad and I bonded through the game of boxing. He taught me what he knew. And together we shared experiences on historical conversations. We made scrapbooks, over a thousand of them. 1,000 pages each, 2,000 front and back. On rare pictures that people are getting hundreds and thousands of dollars on the internet for. And I'd never done that. I, I did it for the passion of the game, for the art of the game, of what the game really meant to me and my dad. He used to have boxes of cut out articles and photos, things he collected during the course of his life. And I adopted that. I've been through many fights, over 500 world championship boxing matches. I've met so many people during the course of my life in relations to boxing. Great people such as Stu Levine, RIP to him. He was known as Mr. Collector in Toto in New Jersey. Paul and Art Cavalier. They were in the gyms of Lenny Shaw in Toto in New Jersey, between Union Avenue and Toto Avenue. Teddy and Bert Sugar. The famous Hank Kaplan, a friend of mine's Ramiro, who's located in Miami. Those who I've done collabs with, such as Hardline Boxing. The three wise men, Curtis Anderson, RIP to him, Stormy B-Man, Retro Boxing, in documentaries. Random Custom of Thoughts, 86 Boxing. Those who show concern, men such as Jude Titan, and 86 Sports as well as 78 Sports TV. I've never met the gentleman. And the fact that he showed enough concern for me to address my circumstance is enough respect for me to know what this gentleman is about. I wanna give thanks to everyone who showed love and passion for me and my work. And I will continue to do what I can to deliver the message of the great fights of the past. I'm Scrapbook Boxing, the Museum of the Forgotten Fistigoff Series, where all great fights and all great fights will never be forgotten on my channel. Shout out to my sister Lala D. Peace.